Hey everyone, my name is Alex with Systems Refined, and today I want to talk to you about how you can use Asana as kind of like a database. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you how I use it as a picture database. Um, before, back in the day when I was doing digital marketing, uh, I was running a contest for a client and needed some photos for them from them so that I could you know, finish creating the advertisement. Like I had, I had the copy done, the landing page, the opt-in page, the email sequence, everything was set up. The branding was on point. Um, I just needed a couple photos. So I reached out to them asking them, hey, can you, can you send these particular photos so I can complete the, uh, the contest that I'm running for you guys? Um, and even though I am very sure that they did not send it, they told me, they were like, oh, we sent those to you already. And I felt embarrassed. I was like, oh. And then I apologized. I was like, I'm so sorry. You know, can you, can you resend those again? And I'm so glad that they couldn't see my face because I, I get like beat red when, uh, when I get called out on things like that. Even if I know that I was in the right, like I still get embarrassed. But um, so I wanted to kind of have like a centralized and organized location you know, for all my clients' photos so that they could upload the photos into it. Um, and I wanted it to be easy for them to use. But using this new process, I didn't know if they would actually go for it because it's like a new, th new thing that they would have to use. Um, and, but the main reason why I wanted to do it is because like, I hate that feeling where it's just like, you know, you call them and then they say, no, we did it. And I'm like, no, I know you didn't. Like just, and then you have to play the, almost like the victim, like, oh, or the, I'm sorry, they're the victim. Like, oh, sorry, you know, we, I had no idea that you sent it. Um, could you resend it? You know, I must have deleted it or whatever. Like, I hate that feeling. So I had to remove that. And also, like, I'm not perfect. I'm pretty sure there are times where I actually did forget things. And uh, I wanted, and I like to learn from my mistakes. So this would also help prevent making those same mistakes. So I normally I would use like email or text message to receive uh, photos and then I would up upload them into a personal drive and then I personally would sort them based on the type of pictures that they are. But I mean, that was very time consuming. And sometimes I would just get the pictures wrong. Like there was one time I, I had like a before and after photo from Invisalign and the dentist was like, no, that's, that's from braces. Like, I don't know the difference. I'm pretty sure no one else knows the difference, but the client cares. So that's what matters. Like the client cares. It's the same with like a, a filet mignon and a tenderloin. I, I said, Oh, this was a tenderloin. And they're like, no, that's a filet mignon. I'm like, okay. Um, and, uh, there was like a short haired, um, golden retriever and I mistaken it for a lab with the clients like, no, that's a lab. And like getting those little details wrong, like it matters for the client, but like I was category, uh, categorizing him incorrectly because they would just like, send me a whole bunch of different photos and I would just have to try to figure it out. Um, and I thought there had to be a better way to do this. Something that isn't so time consuming for me to get the photos from them and then to organize it. And I knew Asana could hold files. And that's when I thought that this was actually probably a good opportunity to use Asana as a picture database. So I reached out to one of my clients who was very friendly, eager to help me out and make her life easier and my life easier. She was a fantastic client. And um, I asked her, I was like, hey, you know, I have this new way I'm going to uh, collect photos. Would you, would you mind being a part of it? And she eagerly said, yes, yes, let's do it. So um, Asana allows you to be like very creative. And uh, it's, it's literally a blank canvas. So if you know what you're doing, you can really make Asana a powerful tool. But I don't think I'm a very creative person. So I had to really think outside of the box and find a way to use Asana as a database and not just as a task management tool. And something else that I had that I came across when doing all this is like I had to teach my client how to use Asana as well but just the, the photo database, that's it. That's all she needed to know how to do. So I created like how-to guides, you know, uh, how-to videos. I would take screenshots of my phone and like kind of like circle it and be like, here, you gotta click here and then uh, just do that, upload there. But after many, many months, nah, I wouldn't say many months, I'd say maybe like one or two, maybe two months, um, but a bunch of different like iterations of the picture database, I figured it out. And uh, with the help of 
my, uh, my client as well. Um, what was really nice about it is like, it was very organized and clean and you can easily find whatever it is that you needed like that. So after I created this database, I showed all of my other digital marketer friends that were in my mastermind group and uh, said that they could use it too. And I also showed my mentor, Joe Soto, and he was actually pretty impressed with it as well. And the way that I've been managing my clients that he wanted me to teach some of his students how to manage clients in Asana. So if you're part of Joe Soto's Marketing Agency Academy course, then you'll probably see me teaching you guys how to manage clients using Asana. Um, but without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how I manage, no, actually how I um, use Asana as a picture database for one of the clients that I had. Okay, so what I have here is a picture database for one of my restaurant clients. And as you can see, uh, the sections are kind of like the different sections of a menu, and each menu item has its own task. And what I really liked about this is all you had to do was just click on the task, and you can see all the photos that are already uploaded for that particular um, item. And you can see that she was the one that actually uploaded them. So now I don't actually have to figure out what is what. Like to me, I would have said that's just lobster or tenderloin, but that is considered their BI special. Same with the king prime rib. Um, you know, when you're looking at pictures, sometimes you can't tell if it is, you know, a king or a queen or um, a petite. So, you know, she was the one that went ahead and put them in the proper areas. And then what I would do is I would just go in and then I would actually add the, um, the branding to it and whatnot. So uh, that's, that's what that section is for. But you can see, you know, um, the different sections for the different areas of their menu. Each, each menu item has their own task. And then within the task, you can just have them upload their photos right into it. So very simple, very easy for them to use. Um, it didn't take a whole lot of uh, training, and uh, but after a while, you know, this this became my go-to system for storing photos for my clients, and um, a lot I've had a lot of good results with it. So, um, if you use Asana as a database for anything, I would love to hear what you do or how you use it. Go ahead and leave a comment below, and um, go ahead and also click on that like button and click on subscribe for more of my Asana tips videos. Thanks for watching.